welcome back to our 2001 Honda S2000. Today we're on a set of Michelin X-Ice snow tires, 205 60R16s, and we're gonna be doing some winter snow driving in the S2000. 145,000 miles on this car. We've done a few modifications to it, a few changes. One of the most recent is the UK exhaust mod, which you probably won't be able to hear too much today just because convertible top is up. It's about four degrees outside, so I'm not putting that down. <laughs> and uh, we'll do a little bit more of an in-depth exhaust review on this car later, but just wanted to mention that since you will hear this a little bit more than you did in the previous videos. Super excited to get this out in the snow. I did just do a test in the BRZ on the Falcon Winter Peak F-Ice 1 tires. So I'm kind of doing a back-to-back -back comparison between those tires and these X-Ice snows. Pretty much exact same curb weights between the two vehicles. There's very different dynamics. This is a much older car. It was way less happy getting up in the morning in single-digit temperatures. The steering was making a strange noise. The gearbox didn't want to go into first. Now everything's somewhat warmed up. So we'll have some fun in this and uh, see how it does in the snow. I'm gonna get this rust proofed later this week. I'm gonna take it to Crown Rust Control. And uh, so it should be good to go with all the salt on the roads. They do have a spray that they can basically desalt the car. They have this salt remover. So we'll get that done and then uh, make sure this is safe and ready for all the harsh conditions of this Michigan winter. So, first impressions on these XI snows. These tires are, <laughs> they're very good in the snow. There is a lot of traction here. It's almost like there isn't anything under you. We've got hard packed ice and just a little bit of ground clearance. So that's the biggest limiting factor compared to the BRZ. It's just ground clearance in this S2000. Is, this thing's pretty low. I think overall, these tires have better snow traction than the Falcons but they're also considerably more expensive. And the Falcons do seem to have superior wet and dry weather handling. Uh, but these XI snows, they shine in the snow. We have about 2,800 pound curb weight here with the S2000, a slightly rearward biased weight distribution, which is kind of fun. A limited slip differential, which isn't as aggressive as it is in the BRZ. Even the handbrake works. <laughs> All right, let's take this out on some roads and see how it fares. I'm actually kind of hoping for more cold weather this year so we can take this ice racing. I think it would do awesome on a frozen lake bed. Just gotta watch out for these chunks of ice on the road. best things about the S2000, in the winter at least, is just the power of this heating system. The heat coming out of the HVAC is just insane. It warms your hands perfectly. You can put it on this uh, through car mode and it'll warm the shifter. It'll just kind of, I'm very comfortable in this car. Once it is warmed up, it just feels great. Bit of a handful. <laughs> so much fun. Let's see what braking performance is like. This is ice right here, not bad. This is pretty impressive.
suspension's a little bit firm out here with the low temperatures. And I would like just a little bit more lock from that diff. But, whoo, <laughs> that is exciting. Second gear start. Yeah, you can do that too. No mud flaps on this S2000, so we get massive rooster tails coming out of the rear end, which is a lot of fun. Here's MRT, the shop that did the exhaust work for the UK mod. Great custom work, awesome exhaust fabrication. They sell a lot of pre-built systems for cars. I've really enjoyed my street touring setup on the BRZ. takes is a good set of snow tires to have fun in your sports car year round. It is twitchy, it is responsive. Traction is just insane. <laughs> it's a little rally car. Steering in this S2000 is a little bit slow to kind of auto steer. You have to kind of do your best to correct it on your own. That could just be because it's cold. Nobody coming. So, while I wouldn't necessarily recommend driving your S2000 in the winter, 
Doesn't have the best ground clearance. Probably not the safest car. Definitely isn't happy on cold starts in the morning. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> and if you ever have to out of necessity or just out of pure maniacal enjoyment, I would kind of recommend it for entertainment factor. <laughs> If you need excellent snow performance, it's pretty hard to beat this excise snow out here. <laughs> but honestly, any winter tire, no matter what your budget, will perform well in the snow on a rear-wheel drive sports car. There are definitely some advantages to this Michelin over some of the competitors. I do wish it had slightly better wet traction, but that's usually the compromise you see when you see improved snow and ice traction is that you see a little bit of a, a lax and wet traction capability. It's a bit of a hill. No one behind us. Let's see how it gets up this. drive on a winter tire, it's kind of crazy to realize how little traction all season tires have. There's something very satisfying about being in your tiny little sports car, passing trucks and SUVs <laughs> at traffic lights. Let's see if this has been plowed in here. Be a little bit rough though for what we want to get into today since we do not have the ground clearance that the BRZ does. That's fine. We will we'll avoid this. We'll find a safe place to turn around here. It's like there just isn't even snow on the ground. I would struggle to walk in some of this stuff. And the S2000 just eats it up. I love it. do with that new exhaust. <laughs> exhaust mod at least. <laughs> because this diff doesn't lock as much, this does seem to have a little bit more stability on throttle than the BRZ does. It's not as willing to kick the tail out. It seems to go straighter more of the time. Part of that could also be the slightly more rearward weight distribution in the S2000. This is 49.51, so it's actually front mid-engine, technically. There's a little bit more of that weight over those rear wheels, and that does make a difference. This kind of feels a little bit like the BRZ would with a couple of heavy sandbags in the trunk. out here. It just doesn't care. I love it. 
say it's a small thing but it is nice being able to get into this car and not have to turn off traction or stability control or anything just get in let it warm up go for a rep <laughs> all right guys that'll be it for this one thanks so much for tuning in that's a good wrap here today. Showing off the capabilities of the S2000 with <laughs> the Michelin XI snow tires. <laughs> quite good, quite impressive performance here, as you would expect. Deep snow, no problem. This is definitely a better tire in the snow than the Falcon Winter Peaks that I was testing on the BRZ, but it has some sacrifices as a result. It's not as capable in the wet and the dry, but if you just need something that is just unflappable in powder, ice, snow, the acceleration here is insane from this tire. The braking performance maybe is about average here, but acceleration with the tread design and the way it evacuates and just claws and finds traction is insane. And maybe part of that too is just the rear word weight distribution of these S2000. It, it handles awesome in the snow. So a lot of fun. We'll be posting some more winter videos on this car as the season progresses, but wanted to get a cold weather, snowy drive in this earlier on in the season. I'll feel a little bit better about driving this S2000 in the salt and the snow once we get it rust proofed here next week. Maybe get some mud flaps for it. But other than that, you watch out for your ground clearance and you get some good winter tires. Yes, you can drive your S2000 in the snow and it is very fun, very satisfying. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Drive safe out there.